start again. Okay. Uh, my topic on network security, as well as computer security, and uh, my name is Jared Meyer. So uh, let me start by asking a simple question. Did you know that by having your computer connected to any sort of network, or having your computer exposed in an open environment, leaves your computer open to security risks? These risks may result in loss or damage to computer hardware, software, confidential information, and data integrity, as well as network and internet availability. Local risks include theft, and when I say local, it means being defined to your own computer, um, and also access to your computer. Um, because of these risks, it's important to educate yourselves in the area of security awareness, especially if information stored on your computer or any computer in your area is um, important. So today I'll briefly educate you on the basic topics of security awareness. Um, first, there's local level security, so that means your own computer. Okay? So depending on the operating system, uh, which is usually Windows or Macintosh, it's important to configure a strong password on your user account. And then when you're not at your computer, to lock or perform some sort of lock option. So when you leave your computer, there's a screen that you have to enter your password to get back into your account. Um, and when I say strong password, that means long and complex of characters. Um, also, some devices such as laptops have locks on the physical hardware um, of the device and Biometric scanners such as fingerprint scanners and retina scanners are being more commonly used today. Um, make sure you have a local firewall enabled for your computer, as well as anti-malware as an anti-malware program such as AVG, McAfee. I don't really like McAfee. I actually prefer AVG, um, but there's many other different ones, and some of them perform the functions such as scanning and checking files that come into your computer automatically. And that's important because some don't do that and some do. And it's, I, I actually prefer AVG because that does. And it's also free. Uh, when I say malware, I, uh, I mean things such as spyware, viruses, worms. And these things could be discussed further, but for the time returns of this discussion, I will not discuss these. Uh, it's also important last but not least, to back up your data that's important to you. Because if there's some sort of hazardous storm or something that you really can't protect against, uh, it's important to have that data and possibly off-site, stored possibly off-site, so that if it's lost, you can still retrieve it. Now, there's network security, and this is, I, I, I do network security here, so I'm Pretty, pretty well educated in it. This is a basic model. Say this is your network at home, and this is a it's called a firewall. And usually a router here provides that firewall, and that's so nothing from the internet can come in, and uh, such as an attacker or a hacker, so they can't come into your network. That's just an example. So first of all, make sure your router has a firewall, and make good use of common tools such as Mac filtering port filtering, and things that you have to educate yourself on a, in your own time and research. This is an example of a, of a Linksys router configuration. It's common because it's sold at places such as uh, you know, Best Buy, or, and that's, that's what you would get when you would go into your router configuration. And there's tools in here that you can do things such as map filtering or port filtering, but you'd have to know what that means, and that requires research. and explanation. Well, also, if you have a wireless router, uh, you can also configure a, a password. So, as you can see, if you probably try connecting to the Lakeland, you don't have to put in a password because it's not protected; it's open. But if you for your own network, so people that are driving by or people that are within distance 